Thank you for joining me on my learning journey. Today I'm going to be sharing my learnings on the hypothesis and the engineering goal for your science fair project. So I'm going to be sharing, you know, what these are and also a couple tips for writing them out. So first off is um, hypothesis. So a hypothesis is for experiments. Experiments. Am I spe no, I'm not spelling that right. One second. <laughs> Experiments. So hypothesis, hypothesis, writing a hypothesis is for an experiment and engineering goals are for engineering projects. So a hypothesis is the outcome that you expect, that you expect. And so it's not a guess. I mean, you could think of it as an educated guess, um, but it's it's based on some background research and information. Background info and research. And so when stating your hypothesis, be sure to state what background information led you to, to, to think that that'll happen, right? So be sure to state that information and back up your claim with some form of evidence. And so here's like a little bit of a sentence starter. You could say, like, I expect that When I change this, and this would be your variable right here, right? Um, it will cause, cause blank, and that would be the expected outcome. And then you could say, I, I believe this, believe this, because blank, and that would be your reasoning. All right, so now on to engineering goals. So engineering goals would be what you hope, you hope to create or improve. Of course, it depends on what project you're doing. Um, but it's what you hope to create or improve. So be sure that you're not just stating what the problem is, but you're also stating, you know, how you intend to solve the problem. So you can bring up the problem, um, but just make sure that you're not just constantly restating the problem and that you're also talking about how you're going to fix the problem. So how you intend to fix the problem. So it's an overview of what you'll be inventing or innovating. So here's um, a sentence starter example for an engineering goal. My, my engineering goal goal is to create slash improve blank to better help blank. So if it's a creation that you're doing, then you would say to create and then blank. This would be your um, what you're going to create to better help with blank, and that would be um, the problem that you're solving. Now, if it's improve, to better improve the problem, and then the sentence stem would actually be a little different for improve, right? It would be to better improve blank by blank. So that's it for this learning. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found this video useful. 
and I'll really appreciate it if you leave your comments, feedback, and further suggestions for additional learnings below. I'll see you in the next video.